Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to this video in our series on IGCSE Business Studies. This is Unit 1, Part 1. In today's lesson, we will be learning about business activity. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. Let's start our journey through the Business Studies course at the beginning. Business Activity the word business is very familiar to us. We are surrounded by businesses, and we could not imagine our life without the products we buy from them. So what is a business, or what is business studies? Here's the very posh definition for it. The study of economics and management. Not clear? Don't worry, by the end of this video, you should be getting a clear picture of what a business is. Firstly, the economic problem. Let's look at the difference between needs and wants. A need, this is a good or service essential for living. Examples include water and food and shelter. A want, this is a good or service that people would like to have, but is not required for living. Examples include cars and watching movies. Scarcity is the basic economic problem. It is a situation that exists when there are unlimited wants and limited resources to produce the goods and services to satisfy those wants. For example, we have a limited amount of money but there are a lot of things we would like to buy, using the money. Opportunity cost Opportunity cost is the next best alternative foregone by choosing another item. Due to scarcity, people are often forced to make choices. When choices are made it leads to an opportunity cost. Scarcity leads us to have to make a choice, which leads to an opportunity cost. An example would be, the government has a limited amount of money, or is scarcity, and must decide on whether to use it to build a road, or construct a hospital, a choice. The government chooses to construct the hospital instead of the road. The opportunity cost here are the benefits from the road that they have sacrificed, this is the opportunity cost. Now, let's look at factors of production. Factors of production are resources required to produce goods or services. They are classified into four categories. Land, the natural resources that can be obtained from nature. This includes minerals, forests, oil and gas. The reward for land is rent. Labor, the physical and mental efforts put in by the workers in the production process. The reward for labor is wage or salary. Capital. The finance, machinery and equipment needed for the production of goods and services. The reward for capital is interest received on the capital. Enterprise. The risk-taking ability of the person who brings the other factors of production together to produce a good or service. The reward for enterprise is profit from the business. Next, let's look at specialization. Specialization occurs when a person or organization concentrates on a task at which they are best at. Instead of everyone doing every job, the tasks are divided among people who are skilled and efficient at them. The advantages are Workers are trained to do a particular task and specialize in this, thus increasing efficiency. Saves time and energy. Production is faster by specializing. Quicker to train laborers. Workers only concentrate on a task, they do not have to be trained in all aspects of the production process. Skill development. Workers can develop their skills as they do the same tasks repeatedly mastering it. The disadvantages are. It can get monotonous or boring for workers doing the same tasks repeatedly. Higher labor turnover as the workers may demand for higher salaries and company is unable to keep up with their demands. Overdependency, if workers responsible for a particular task are absent, the entire production process may halt since nobody else may be able to do the task. 
So, what is the purpose of business activity? We've gone through factors of production, the problem of scarcity and specialization, but what is business? A business is any organization that uses all the factors of production, or resources, to create goods and services to satisfy human wants and needs. Businesses attempt to solve the problem of scarcity, using scarce resources, to produce and sell those goods and services that consumers need and want. This is all to get something called added value. Added value is the difference between the cost of materials bought in and the selling price of the product. Which is, the amount of value the business has added to the raw materials by turning it into finished products. Every business wants to add value to their products so they may charge a higher price for their products and gain more profits. For example, logs of wood may not appeal to us as consumers and so we won't buy it or would pay a low price for it. But when a carpenter can use these logs to transform it into a chair we can use, we will buy it at a higher cost because the carpenter has added value to those logs of wood. How to increase added value? By reducing the cost of production. Added value of a product is its price less the cost of production. By reducing the cost of production, this will increase the added value. It can also be done by raising prices. By increasing prices, they can raise the added value, in the same way as described before. But there will be problems that may arise from both these measures. To lower the cost of production, we can use cheap labor or raw materials, which may have to be employed, which will create poor quality products and only lowers the value of the product. People may not buy it. And when prices are raised, the high price may result in customer loss, as they will turn to cheaper products. In a practical sense, you can add value by branding, adding special features or by provide premium services. In a practical example, how would you add value to a jewelry store? Design an attractive package to put the jewelry items in. An attractive shop window display. Well-dressed and knowledgeable shop assistants. All of this will help the jewelry store to raise prices above the additional costs involved. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.